Fortunately, the inevitable has happened. I think we're getting skunked this week on surf. Current conditions here in Encinitas. I don't even know what to say. This has been a frustrating week. I am mad. I'm sad. I'm frustrated beyond belief. You know, I'm taking it personal. Um, I feel like it's my fault. Karma against me is causing us to not have waves. My friends and family, to anybody this week that I have been short with because I don't have waves, I apologize. You know, I wish that lack of surf didn't have this effect on me, but man, I am wound up tight. I just want to get wet. I want to surf and shin high waves are not going to do it. What's up, Vibe Nation? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. We gotta get into an adventure. It is June. Summer is right around the corner. Unfortunately, we don't have much waves going on today. Let me get this camera situated real quick. So I got the Surfline Cam on Beacons, our home break, and as you can see, it is probably in that one to two foot kind of range, knee to thigh high, really weak dribbly south swell and that means we're gonna get into another an adventure that means we're gonna get into another adventure today and i'm really excited we're gonna be heading over to a skate park we're gonna take our waterborne surf skate and get some vibes but i do want to take a quick second to kind of explain to you what i always am talking about when i say like oh this swell is missing our area the swell angle is too steep so we're gonna kind of check out the dry erase board and I'm gonna explain to you in case you're wondering what the heck Snook is talking about. All right, y'all, it is a little oceanography class. So here's the deal. We got the California coastline, San Diego heading north through Orange County and the shape of our coastline kind of goes like this. This is land, this is sea. We got ocean waves and then on land, we got San Diego here, Encinitas, Carlsbad, Oceanside, Pendleton, Lowers, San Clemente, heading up towards Laguna and Huntington Beach. The situation when I say that a swell angle is too steep to south, that it bypasses the area, south swells are moving from the south heading north. Typically they're in this time of year coming from storms, tropical systems off the southern coast of Mexico or Central America, or they're coming from way down in the South Pacific, the like areas off of like New Zealand. They're sending swells long periods, but because there's a certain swell angle and it's straight south, it's bypassing our area. And these waves, the further north they go, and they're reaching more of a beach that faces a little bit more south. As you hit Carlsbad, just north of Encinitas, the coastline starts to bend just a little bit more to face, I guess you would say, southwest, kind of picking up some of that minimal south swell, minimal fill-in. As you head past Oceanside into Camp Pendleton, finally reaching lower trestles from your surf spot in uh, North America. The swell is starting to pick up better and better and better as you head north. The more the beach faces south, the more that that south swell can hit it. So for instance, here in Encinitas, it might be one to three. Carlsbad, it might be one to four. Oceanside, two to four. Pendleton, two to five. Lowers, three to six. San Clemente will keep it the same. Laguna, maybe three to seven. Huntington, four to eight. So that's kind of what the situation is. Tomorrow, um, we have the same kind of south swell, but I have a little feeling that the storm has moved far enough away from the coast that we kind of might have enough little bit of a west, southwest angle in there to maybe get a little bit bigger surf here in Encinitas and Carlsbad, fingers crossed. And then Thursday, it looks like we will have a little bit of actual south, southwest swell, which should show in our area. But that's our lesson for today. Thanks for hanging out with Professor Snook. We are going to pick this up over at the skate park.
All right, y'all, we just got to the Alga Norte skate park over by the house. If you are in Carlsbad, you definitely need to come check out this park. Super fun, super like family friendly and all good vibes. It's like there's some really fun runs on here. But we got the waterborne surf skate adapter and the rail adapter on the long board. We're gonna find some fun little vibes. I will mention though, and we got the helmet on too. If you are going to surf skate, in a skate park, number one thing that I recommend is checking out where everybody is skating at, looking at the lines that they're taking, and then remember that you're on a surf skate, so you take different lines than everybody else. Pay attention, there could be, you know, traffic patterns that you're unaware of, and if you maybe hit like a little bump where you're gonna do a turnaround, if there's a skater behind you, they might be thinking you're gonna fly over it because that's what they're gonna do, and you're gonna turn around and there could be a collision. So just keep your eyes peeled, your um, earbuds, keep your volume down low so that you can hear if you're listening to music and pay attention and just have fun. Miley's on her way. She's taking a little break from work. Super thankful for that. She's going to come film for a bit. This should be some fun. So unfortunately, the next day here we are, and as fun as that surf skate was, the south swell we talked about yesterday hasn't quite filled in. I'm kind of daydreaming and watching the south side of Huntington Beach right now, which as we talked yesterday about further up the coast as the beaches face a little bit more south, they're picking up a little bit more of the swell. And while HB is not huge, I would take this kind of textured, mostly clean, three to four foot plus surf any day of the week right now. But I do wanna talk about something else real quick because fingers crossed we might have a little bit of a pickup and swell later today. So we'll be keeping our eye on the cams, but I wanted to let you know about a new brand that I started working with that I am really excited. Package showed up today, so I figured we'd unbox it together. So I'm really excited to announce that I'm now partner partnered up with the brand Beneath Underwear. You might be thinking, Snook, what are you talking about, underwear? What does that have to do with surfing? Well, think about this. We are all outside pushing our bodies to the limits and um, doing a lot of action sports, physical activity. We're running, hiking, swimming, surfing, snowboarding, skateboarding, surf skating, all these things, working out at the gym, training, all these things that we're putting our body through tough, tough, tough physical 
and, you know, strain, we should have something really amazing to be taking care of what's taking a beating as well. So um, they reached out to me and they said, hey, we really like your vibe. We've been looking at your TikTok, your Instagram, and we think your vibe matches our vibe. So we'd like to, you know, work together, check our stuff out. So I checked it out and they sent me a little package. Let's see what is in here. Oh, sick. Let's open these things up and kind of take a look at what's going on. So the deal with these, besides having a super rad vibe, a super rad kind of color contrast going on, um, the material is extremely soft and comfortable. And that's what we're kind of talking about. You know, we spend a lot of time putting our bodies through a lot. Don't we want our bodies to feel as good as they possibly can? The other thing that I really like about these things is their My Package Pouch technology. So think about this. Literally, this little thing that holds your little and your and uh, yeah. This looks like a total vibe. I'm super excited to give these things a try. I've heard a ton, a ton of good stuff about these things. Let's see what these other couple ones look like. I'm really stoked to see. These I think are like the desert vibe. A little cactus setup. Little shorty shorts. It might be a little late because you're watching this um, with Father's Day coming up, but this is a perfect thing to get the dad in your life. And maybe you're thinking, I am not getting my dad a pair of underwear, but maybe you are a dad. You want to treat yourself, treat yourself to something nice. He's beneath underwear. Your boys will be thanking you. If you are a woman out there with a dad in your life being, you know, your husband or your boyfriend, make him feel good. And you know what? Make him look good. This little surf beach blanket kind of vibe. This is insane. I am loving it. Huge thanks to Beneath for uh, reaching out to me and getting me this awesome package. I can't wait to test these things out. They feel absolutely amazing. What a vibe. If you want to get yourself a pair of these, link in the description below. Use the code SNOOK20OFF. Get yourself 20% off and uh, yeah, it's a vibe. All right, y'all, so literally we wrapped up filming about Beneath, and I happened to just check the cam before grabbing a little snack, and the wind still looked kind of light. The tide is slowly starting to drop. That surf is not big by any means, so we did cruise down here with the 8.0 Catch Surf Foamy, the log, and we're gonna go out there and try and find a couple vibes. The sun is not out, but that might be why the winds are still pretty light, although, June gloom is an expected phenomenon this time of year, so not too surprised. There's a couple people out. Let's see if this outer wave kind of feathers in. We're sitting about 12 o'clock in the afternoon, so this isn't bad for midday. Okay. Oh yeah. We're out there. Let's get suited up. Alright, let's get this thing waxed up so we don't slip. It's been a little drizzly and dreary because it's June, so it's got a little chill of the air. So we're rocking a 3 2 chest sip hose Stevie, keeping us nice, warm, but light enough that it's super stretchy, comfortable, and not restricting mobility. And y'all know the deal. We'll see you out there.
Oh, oh my gosh, how fun was that? Conditions, as you can see, not the best by any means. And let's be real, not every surf are you scoring like all time perfect waves, but the reality of surfing is sometimes like your windows are small or the surf looks good now and you just throw down what you're doing. I mean, we were literally recording. I happened to check the camera, it looked good. I didn't even wanna show you the camera or talk about it. I just wanted to pack everything up. I literally loaded the bike up, raced down here and in 20 minutes, the wind had picked up just a little bit more. The tide's really starting to bottom out just a little bit. Not too negative, but just losing a little bit of water. And with that wind, it's starting to get dumpy, but we got a couple fun waves. And honestly, the 3-2 Ho Stevie chest zip always keeps me warm. But honestly, I felt a little over warm. I don't know if it's because this thing is an absolute furnace, even for a 3-2, but it's starting to feel like summer out here. And that's a real vibe. All right, y'all, let's fast forward 24 hours. And unfortunately, the inevitable has happened. I think we're getting skunked this week on surf. You can see right here, current conditions here in Encinitas. Not a vibe. I don't even know what to say. Um, this has been a frustrating week. I am mad. I'm sad. I'm frustrated beyond belief. Um, this is my life, surfing. It's your life. And when we don't have waves, we literally go crazy and it, you know, I'm taking it personal. Um, I feel like it's my fault somehow karma against me is causing us to not have waves or, you know, something like that. But of course it's not the case. It's mother nature. I have nothing to do with this, but it feels that way. It feels personal against me and I'm taking it personal. And to my friends and family, to anybody this week that I have been short with, cause I don't have waves, I apologize. You know, I wish that lack of surf didn't have this effect on me, but man, I am wound up tight and I just want to get wet. I want to surf and shin high waves are not going to do it. So with that being said, um, we're going to have to tune in next week to see what we were going to get into for the rest of this episode. I have a few products that some brands have sent me that I wanted to test, but unfortunately you cannot test surf products in one foot waves. And really the only thing getting tested this week has clearly been my patience. As you guys see from my face, probably from the sound of my voice, I'm a little frustrated, but I am holding faith that surf line, surf lies, that it feels like has been this week is gonna come true with their forecast as there is some swell coming. So I'm setting y'all free. I'm gonna go get into an adventure, not sure what, but we're getting outside. I want you to do the same. Thank you all for tuning in. I love making these videos. And even though I'm frustrating, I love putting together a video for y'all this week. Thank you all for tuning in. Make sure if you are new to the channel, you smash that subscribe button, give us a little like and drop a comment down below. You all know I love responding to comments, but I'm gonna set you free. And until next week, y'all know the deal. Click right here to subscribe and right here to watch more videos. And I'll catch y'all on the next vibe. Let it go, auto puts her like whoa Thing I go, cause she don't I see, I see, I see And you're the man to know, girl Yeah, girl, you go, girl Yeah, no, I'm still there, I swear I swear Check out Mondo Zero, Pokesaro, can't get you